guy. What's going on, man? Whoa. So, about to get to the rims today. They are curved bad in a lot of places that I didn't notice until I power washed them last night. I tried to get a clip of that, but I think the camera fell off my backpack, which I was holding it on to. Do the whole shebang, the whole process. So we're driving in the middle of nowhere to do this, but the weather today is very, could pour down at any second. Do the whole nine yards to get the process, get the tires loaded. I'm probably gonna scrub them down with a tire and what, I mean, a towel and whatnot, because they are just really dirty on the top and the power washer didn't seem to do much. So I'm gonna be scrubbing them down and cleaning them up. And then, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna fix all the curb rashing and I got the right materials to do it. Mud flies whenever I'm on the trail. Oh, here we go again. Make sure to wipe the dirt ain't mine, then that's not gonna stay. Get it off of the tread as well. Yeah. Also just took all this stuff off the hug caps, papers, and plastic. Proving that these are a 20 by 12, we're gonna do the six inch lip test with a bill. Not quite the full bill length, but that is definitely an anchor 44 offset. A very, very aggressive long lip there, so the tires are gonna be sticking out. Now I get a perfect example right here of some curb rashing going on. And you wanna grab preferably a wooden brush, and then you're gonna dab it into the paint, which I got from just a local body shop, a gloss black paint. And then you can just you can just easily and nicely go against that nice curb rash right there, paint it on up, and then it's gonna look spectacular and good as new. And uh, yeah, you don't gotta use all the, the expensive stuff stuff and the long process of enamels proxies and whatnot this will this will actually do very well if you just take the a good quality black gloss black paint and go right over it it should stay permanent as long as you clean the surface make sure it's no grease or dirt at all on the curb rash itself there's your gloss black paint right there bingo and there you go. Just got to do that five layers. Go all the way around. You should be good. Some people use nail polish or they just rattle can the whole dang rim. So it's as easy as mud in your truck to fix the curb rash. guy Mike back in elementary school that held the little tambourine. Guys check me out look how cool I am. <laughs> what the heck? I only know the first line and I'm not Go. Singing. Come on we're in the place. Saw you. Do it. You're neighbored. You're really wimping out here. I can't help but like that laugh. Alright. Sorry now to give off what your profile would say. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah if I knew what I knew now things would be way different. I have a fucking second gen looked at ass. Not the last. This was actually gonna say. Say it. I'm on to make you move. So I wonder what the air was like up here in the 1600s compared to now. Probably smoke crisper. Yeah, sometimes when I was running low on oil, I cut myself and add some blood into the to the engine of the truck, so we were one. Ford OBS oil running through your veins. Ford OBS. Versus 12 out, 12 out all the way. Nah, I'd rather have an OBS over a second gen any day of the week. I don't know, dude. 100%. It says the one that's gonna get a super single cab. Yeah. yeah. Ace megaphone speaker quality coming out my AM radio, my second gen 12 out. Genius.
Perfectly good scope, or it was. Why are you shaking it? Here we go. Okay, we're gonna make a decision soon. We need to almost just leave it. We're second and third floor, bro. We need to be on the We bow our heads before we eat, before we start our day, before we fall asleep. Because in God we trust and we believe. We see what's wrong and we know what's right. And old Hanky said it all when he said country folks can survive. Amen. Get up. <laughs> Get up. An oil leak at the bottom of the pan. It's soaked in oil. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do a full engine rebuild or swap in an M96. Yeah, I'll take this off again. Put a piece of painter's tape behind it to hopefully stop the rattle. There we go. No more rattle. And I won't really know until I test it on the road, but I think these things just wear out of after opening and closing after a while, especially taking them off to remove the whole panel. I think we fixed it up, and yeah, they wear out over time, but I think it's good to go. And the other side. I have to take the taillight off again because if you look both levels of where there should be filament, are completely gone and destroyed. It's also foggy on the one side, but I'm thinking this was burnt out for a very long time because the truck does not notify on the system about reverse bulbs. So I think I've been rolling around for a good two years or at least a year with a burnt reverse light bulb the entire time. I got a new one in there because all these new harnesses that I have, I have six extra bulbs to put in. So got that put in and a little bit of weight reduction. Nothing like breathing in some carbon monoxide very directly. This has been the culprit all along. It's probably been burnt for about 25 years. Turns out two bulbs were bad, one being a brake light. What's interesting is that it says it's 3047K color temperature, which I thought they were 4300K, like the headlights. I guess not. There's the car. What do you think of it? So sad. Uh, uh, no, it's not. Start of a new beginning. Come and swap. Okay. So I didn't know I'd be telling this story, and it's really sad. Mike's gonna start crying to this. So I was driving the Buick. I'm leaving. I'm on the way home. It's nighttime. The car just starts vibrating. I th I'm it's feeling. It feels as if there was bumps in the road, but there were no bumps at all. I could just tell by the smooth road that I'm driving once upon a time. The car starts making really loud acceleration noises, as if it was just metal on metal. Really loud. The acceleration was getting rough. Starting to smell the exhaust coming into the cab and then I'm coming down a straightaway road the light turns green thankfully I lose power steering and then I'm going a little bit farther I'm trying to brake and I notice my brakes are gone it's all manual scary situation I've never been in one like that and the view to the side of the road I lost all acceleration as well the car just shut off to push it into a ravine never to be seen again and this kind of relates to your situations of your truck breaking down a couple times the different ones you had it's really sad yeah the difference is that I'm gonna revive it and you just crush them like a soda can, but that's not always the way you want to do things. Keep it on the fucking road. But that was really sad. It was a very surreal experience and I want to get that I thing really back in the home and it's I just cried. sitting out there. It's sitting in the lot still, so we need to get that thing towed out. Yeah. All right, this is the weirdest thing right now, you guys. Did these other ones first and then... Oh, it's still not focusing. Focus, focus. Focus up. Focus up. Still not focusing. Even when you tell it to focus, it's not working? I feel tighter. Yeah. This is very strange right now. There we go. Now what's going on? I feel okay. Look okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're, here we are. How you doing? What's up? So, the bad news is that I got a call back about car it's and fixable. The engine seized up and it needs a new one. New engine. Not the Buick. Yes. No. That's us. Yes. yes. I can't believe this is really happening right now. It's a miracle. I tried a piano, but I can go off of because I really can't tell it. Um, go. The notes are. Because I turned off all the government alerts that you can get the Amber alerts and whatever, all the missing person. Oh, oh no, all, everything I just turned it off. Emergency alerts and all that. 
Well, I guess you're gonna die if anything ever happens. What did people do in the past? Died. Turn I on the news. I don't need this damn thing to tell me what to do. Turn on the news, the radio. No, 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 no. AM radio, yeah. There you go, you got it. <laughs> Patch is a lot better now. So it looks a lot better. But you probably didn't fathom it in your head very well. Probably not. Well, we finally got him to take a break from the bottle. Yeah. So you can see with the exhaust tip, there's now bare metal showing on it and yeah, I guess you better just back up the diesel and uh, roll coal on that tip so it looks like a diesel. <laughs> wow. There it is. The horn, nice engine. Perfect. Right there. Right there. <clears throat> yeah, I live in any shabby shack out in these woods. Moonshine's still back here, you know, in the backyard. I have one up fucking tooth. Overall, prove me wrong. <laughs> Literally doing. Sh oh my goodness! It's a key. You were saying that even if your truck had three catalytic converters, you cut them all off in a split second. Yeah. yeah. Why is that? Who needs an environmentalist? It should be all V14 engines. Are you all right in the head? <laughs> Finally made it out to the mountainside and walk our way into the town out there. You can see my breath and probably catch a bite or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, and then I guess we'll hitch a ride back to the bikes. Oh! Okay, that's enough. Nice to meet you. My name is Darren Kelly. Thank you for coming out. 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 Thank you for coming Oh, nice car. One by that. Oh, okay, so let's see. small portion of my big collection of wires and cords, Ethernet, cable, telephone, power cords, and just things I cut off the back of an old washing machine or something. I just like to collect it all, and we got it all right here. I got it nice and tightened up. Laptop cords as well. We got a bunch of I don't know. And back in the day, with people's truck builds, they would actually just use whatever wires they could. It wasn't just the standard of you got to have the perfect exact wire gauge and color and everything. I got this bin. Up. And I just used this screwdriver to adjust the headlight again with that screw down there. They were off a little bit, so had to adjust them up in the cold and the dark. Merry Christmas.